Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Anna from the future here just popping in at the start of this next video. This video is going to be the last in the Melbourne series before we head up the east coast of Australia on an overnight bus to Byron Bay. So if you're excited for the Australia backpacking series to continue just keep on watching. But I wanted to pop in early this video to update you on some exciting news. I received a very exciting parcel the other day. There's nothing in it right now. I'm going to show you what was in it. So Udi reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of their hoodies or sleep tees or robes and I said yes please I would love that so much. If you guys haven't heard about hoodie I don't know how. Everyone seems to have an hoodie except me but now I do which I'm very happy about. So my number one question when I was going to be sent an hoodie was how are they going to send it to me because my mum has an hoodie and I know those things are massive. I was like how is that going to get through the letterbox? But they sent it in this bag which came vacuum sealed which I think is such a good idea. This is my I've gone for the black space design which I thought was so cool if you know me I love space I've literally got a space tattoo this just seemed right up my alley and it's got white lining which is so fluffy and cozy inside and even in Australia in the evenings if you're somewhere like Melbourne you can get chilly at night but the real thing about this is it's literally like a wearable blanket this is incredible I'm only five foot two and when I put this on it went down to my ankles let me show you Oh my god, help. Oh my god. Oh. If you cannot tell how comfy and cozy this is, I don't know what to tell you. I also really like that it's got cuffs so the sleeves aren't just wide open. And it's got a kangaroo pouch here which I really like so I can carry around all my snacks, my phone, my headphones. And it literally goes all the way to my feet. And the best part about it is I have a discount code for you guys to pick up your own Udi as well. But with my discount code you can take $35 off the entire range on Udi. Like I mentioned before they do sleep tees, robes as well as the most famous Udi. So my code for you guys will be Anna Joan 35 I'll put it on the screen as well. Thank you very much to Udi for sending me one of these. I'm absolutely chuffed. I, I literally can't explain to you how big and comfy and cozy and fuzzy and warm this is. You need to pick one up to see for yourself. Now let's carry on with the Melbourne video. So today is now Saturday and we are currently on our way to Graysland Melbourne which is like a big sort of event, food court, like just food thing with loads of different stands with different cuisines and things. So we're on our way there for lunch. I can see it now, I'm really excited. I have heard very good things about this place. We had to pay $4 entry to come in. We've had a look around, there are so many different stalls here. There's also an arcade back there and different shops and things as well as not just food, which I think is quite cool. They do cocktails, coffee and like every cuisine. Me and Lauren ended up going to the same raclette cheese place. So Lauren has gone for raclette on potatoes. Is it good? Oh, that looks incredible. And I have gone for, from the same place, six pieces of deep fried camembert with fig chili jam, I think. So I'm excited about this. Let's go for this one. Dip it in the jam. That's so good. I love camembert. We have come out today to have a beach day. Molly has kindly driven us to Brighton Beach and we've got the most amazing view right now. The sea is so crystal clear, great blue sky. You can see the city skyline over across the water. It's absolutely incredible. And as the name would suggest, Brighton Beach has got these little beach huts. And Lauren is originally from Brighton, so she wants to go and see the little beach huts and get a picture in front of the beach huts. We've got our sunnies, we've got our hats. Let's have a beach day. I'm also planning on having some fish and chips today very excited like PTSD from how burnt I got in Bondi but it's fine we're smarter this time it's about half one it is busy we have found our fish and chips in the shade Lauren's gone for calamari and chips Mo's gone for dim sum and I've got my fish and chips here good so far I think the fish is definitely better than the fish at Bondi it's a bit flakier so I'm happy so far god I'm red it's very hot if you can't tell we're sat in the shade of a palm tree 
living my best life. Good morning everyone. It is currently our last day in Melbourne. I'm super sad but also super excited because today we are doing the Great Ocean Road. So our bus tonight isn't until 10pm and as you can see the weather is quite good. So we're doing our Great Ocean Road today. Alex and Molly are kindly driving us and we have stopped at our first stop to pee and get a coffee which cost me $5.50 and I got a chai, dirty chai, to wake me up and our first stop is Anglesey which is where we currently are but we need to get a move on so let's get back in the car and see some views. We stopped at our first viewpoint about five minutes down the road from where we were before. Pretty cool. The water is so blue. I don't even think it's going to pick up on camera. It's a little bit windy as well. We've done a little walk to the lighthouse and it's got a little viewpoint with like 360 degree views and it is sunny. There's a boat right on the horizon and it actually looks like it's floating because it's right on the horizon, like right on the very edge. And then Molly was like, all boats are floating. <laughs> taking a short excursion to Erskine Falls. You can probably hear it already. We are just coming to the closest viewpoint, which is the upper viewpoint, not the lower viewpoint. We're about to see it. Oh, wow. This is incredible. You can see the waterfall at one corner, but honestly, the most impressive bit for me is the trees. They are so tall. Big valley down the bottom with ferns, everything. We watched Jurassic Park the other day and it looks a little bit like this. Just look at the valley down there. I don't know if it's going to pick up properly on camera. And then these trees just are so tall. And then here we have it. Erskine Falls. We're not even that far into the Great Ocean Road yet and the variation in landscapes. Lauren needs to jump in the front because she's getting a bit car sick. One thing about the Great Ocean Road we've discovered is it's kind of like this. We're all kind of holding on to our stomachs a little bit. That was a big coffee. But the variation in landscapes has been incredible. Like this is like a big forest. It almost looks like a waterfall. And then some parts that we were driving down with the ocean look like Thailand beaches. Crazy. Next stop, next stop. <laughs> Oh, look at him go. Next stop on our tour is Teddy's Lookout and it's not busy at all. I feel like where we're going to the places that not many people go, but this is the most impressive viewpoint so far. But first, I saw my first ever live wild snake. It was a tiger snake. And luckily we have Alex with us. Alex is Australian and he let us know that it's one of the deadliest snakes. They can be quite aggressive, so we had to back up a little bit because apparently they like chasing people. And it crossed the path in front of us. It was actually quite fast. That was my first snake experience in Australia but this view is absolutely incredible. You can see all the different parts of the ocean with like the different depths and the different colours, light blue, dark blue, and the road with the cars going along, amazing. and had lunch at Lorne, which is such a cute little seaside town. I just had some swing rolls and a sushi roll at a little Asian place. It cost me about $12, I think. It was such a cute little town. They had lovely, like, beachy, hippie clothes shops for good prices, and I just wanted to, like, look at all the shops. There was a bookshop, ice cream, but we do not have time, because we're trying to do, we've only got today, like, most people do Great Ocean Road over a couple of days, and, like, stop in some of the places. But now we are at Kennet River, and apparently this place is known for koalas. So hopefully, if you look up in the trees, 
I can see my first koala, but we passed the guy that was walking back down the road and he said he didn't see any, so don't know, but there's a place here called Cafe Koala, Cafe with a K. Obviously it's a place to see them. Don't know if we're gonna get lucky. Just need to keep your eyes up all the time. We also went to the pharmacy in Lorne and picked up some travel sickness tablets, which I think has been a good idea. Don't think there's any koalas today. Can't see any. Apparently they sit in like the little fork of the branches, but it's actually really difficult to see them because I think I keep eating one and then it's just part of the tree. Also, Lauren has one of the most Australian things I've ever heard of called Pier to Pub and they have a race from the pier to the pub. <laughs> we were just driving along and we saw some people on the side of the road pointing up. So when you're in Australia and you see people pointing up, you stop the car because they've seen a koala. It's my first ever wild koala. It's so high up and it's just chilling there. The branches are swaying. It looks so comfy. It's so fluffy. Oh my god. It doesn't even look real. It looks like a teddy bear. Wow. It is the last stop on our tour. This is how far we are going today. We are visiting the 12 Apostles, which is these amazing rocks that are coming out from just beside the beach. However, there used to be 12. I don't think there's 12 anymore. They all fall into the sea or like fall over. So I think I can only see like five or six now, but it's still pretty cool to see. It is very windy here and also quite busy. It is free to get in and they're pretty spectacular. I'm glad we did that. It was a good way to end the trip. However, the motion sickness tablets that me and Lauren had sent us into another dimension. We both fell asleep in the car and then started to feel a little bit like it did get rid of the car sickness and the nauseousness. We just felt all like drowsy and not great so I don't really know what to recommend for that to be honest. But we are just heading back to the car now. I think that's going to be our last thing because it takes two and a half hours to drive from here back to where we are staying and we've got the bus tonight and we do not want to be late for that. My bag is mostly packed but we just need to make sure the last couple things so i'm gonna end today's vlog here had such a good day really recommend coming to see this if you've got longer obviously there's so many more stops and things you can do so if you have the time i'd probably extend it like there's so many things we wanted to do places we wanted to stay longer but we just don't have the time but i'm really glad that we fit it into one day to do before we left melbourne give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe as i'll be back next time with more content for you bye guys